The sun is the center of our solar system as a giant ball of plasma. It's pretty hard to miss him in its 30 million degrees center. You would see hydrogen fuse into helium releases energy. Magnetic fields cause solar flares and coronal mass ejections and particles from these bursts damage electronic connections. It's a hundred times as wide as Earth, 33 million miles far. And despite all of this, it's just an average size star. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, here's a two-made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and as such it takes the least time to run. And on its orbit, it uses only 80 days. And the solar wind means that little gas stays. On its rocky surface, rather than fuller craters with no atmosphere, its temperature favors from 800 Fahrenheit to minus 300 at night. There is still some ice and craters away from the light. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, here's a tube made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It's the same size as Earth, give or take some. Venus is covered in a thick layer of clouds made of carbon dioxide and which affect shrouds. The planet from losing heat like a giant blanket, so it's 900 degrees due to the greenhouse effect. It's covered with volcanoes and is shaped by their powers, and the only probes that ever land die within two hours. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, here's a two the Earth is the third planet from the Sun. I got a feeling you're familiar with this one. It's the only planet known to have life in its history. Then just how life started is still a bit of a mystery. Four billion years ago, two protoplanets collided, and our moon was formed when collision debris united. Earth in the Goldilocks zone, not too hot or too cold, for liquid water to exist in life as we know it to take hold. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and it's the place where of which the other planets has begun. The surface is covered with red iron oxide, and much of its atmosphere is blown away with no matter can field inside. Early astronomers saw canals everywhere, and they thought perhaps aliens would put them there. Thanks to telescopes, orbiters, and rovers, we know now that there are no such alien canals, although rivers, deltas, volcanoes, and canyons abound. There's little water left, but life on Mars may still be found. So we sent spacecraft there like curiosity to try to understand Mars' geologic history. Between the inner planets and outer planets, there are billions of asteroids orbiting in a belt around a star. Sometimes they are knocked out of their stable orbit, and a few might collide with Earth if they don't avoid it. Why the belt? Well, it has to do with Jupiter, you see. It pulls on the belt with its massive gravity. Preventing asteroids from forming into another planet. But don't worry, a big one can't Earth soon, or can it? Jupiter is the fifth planet, it's the largest one. Bigger than all the others combined, but it's one thousand of the sun. It's a gas giant, so it has a run on which is sand, but that doesn't mean its surface is bland. The great red spot is a giant cyclone on its surface. It's centuries old and huge, bigger than the Earth is. There are four big moons that with binoculars you can see, discovered in 1610 by Galileo Galilei. EU has volcanoes here by the friction of its side, and Europe is covered in ice within ocean inside. Ganymede is the largest moon we know exists, and Callisto is covered in craters from the asteroid it, it hits. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, here's a tube made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun in terms of beauty. I say its rings are clearly one. They're made of bits of ice and rock aboarding through the void, and they have maybe been formed when the moon was destroyed. Saturn is the least center of many planets known, and the most of the latest centrifugal forces really shown. Titan has within lakes and a thick or jays, and it's the latest has water and liquid face. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, here's a tube made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun, and dirty jokes about its name are deserving of shun. Not much is known about Uranus or its brother Neptune, because Voyager 2 was the only craft to ever go to them. Uranus has rings on not as great as Saturn's, and is usually devoid of interesting patterns. There's not as much more in this place that I can say, but hopefully we'll send a new spacecraft there someday. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, here's a tube made of hydrogen. Like a balloon.
Neptune is the eighth and final planet from our star. The sun is 0.1% as bright because it's so far. It's similar to Uranus in mass and size and composition. And Uranus orbit predicted its position. You may have noticed Neptune is a bright blue. The methane in its atmosphere gives Neptune a two. It's the windiest with 1,000 mile per hour thrust. And Triton has liquid nitrogen spewing from its crust. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, here's the two with of hydrogen and helium, gas like a balloon. The ninth planet was Pluto, but it's a planet no more because it's too small, it's a dwarf planet, but this time it's soared. The planets orbit close to a plane, but Pluto does not. And more dwarf planets were found, that's what got this topic hot. Pluto's big moon, Charon, is Pluto's little brother, so big that Pluto and Charon orbit one another. Beyond Cooper Belt is an orbit cloud, and that's where debris from our source information can be found. Our sun and the planets like Earth and Mars are not alone, just look at the stars. You see, most stars have their own collection of bodies, and that is what search for exoplanet studies. And there are far more stars up there you can see, 100 billion in our galaxy. And there are hundreds of billions of galaxies that we know, so think about how small you are down here below. Action. Now, now it's time to some food break. <laughs> we should put this in the day too. That's like, gonna be like, trying to work. say. It. Now it's <laughs> now now it's time for some bloopers. <laughs> now some time the for some bloopers. bloopers. Blooper time. Woo! Bloopers. The oh. bloopers were the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Nine. What is Okay. Just throw it. <laughs> Play the piano, man. You're playing the piano. Three of them, man. Three of them, man. Perfect, and now action. <laughs> sure it. <laughs> the belt around our star. Yeah, just like be like an asteroid and like, whew, like. And Jenna. <laughs> Neptune, right? What? What's your actual name? I'm sorry. Neptune. Christina. Christina, that's it. <laughs> like this? Oh. I want to see your face. You have a nice face. You could be in there. <laughs> yeah, that's actually funny if you want to do that. <laughs> that that was all good. Go around. We did it! Yeah! We did it! Oh, we did it! Oh. We did it! High five you! We did it! Oh. Oh. We did it. <laughs> <That's good>. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus! Yeah! Yeah! We did it! Don't kick my head up! That's my head up! And... Action. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. <laughs>